Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is Miko from Q4 of the Weekly Contest 268, Sum of K-Mirror Numbers. Um, hmm, I left a comment in there, even though that's no longer true. But, um, so the way that I would think about this is do your math, right? Um, so the way that I um, think about this is also that you should hit the like button, and you, that way do that, just come to Discord and come hang out and ask questions. But... But basically, brute force is the way that I would do it. However, um, so the thing that after you do brute force is noting, noticing that um, the biggest number is going to be this. But it actually, if you do the math, or not if you do the math, but if you do the brute force and you calculate offline, the biggest iteration is going to only have about a million, 1.2 million entries. So basically, what I did was this. I do the brute force way. Um, hmm, there's two goals. That's actually very confusing. Um, hmm. So the way that I thought about this, let me get this in, in the right way. Uh, hmm. So the way that I, I actually did this in a different order than I, and I would have suggested, but um, and I would go over it in a second. But the way that I did it initially is brute force. Um, the idea is that, and maybe this is a little bit tricky to see, but the first principal idea about this palindrome number thing is that you don't need to generate every number, right? You can uh, to to check them. You can only, you can generate a number in one base and then check the other one. And then the way that I did it is I checked to uh, I generate palindromes in base k and then check whether the base ten version of is good. Um, for example, for case for k is equal to seven, I try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Uh, six and then ten in base seven. So this is seven in base ten. Um, uh, oh, well, actually, I don't generate 10 then because that's not a palindrome, right? And I do 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, and then uh, 101, 111, 121, dot, 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 right? Uh, so that's the way that I would generate all these lists. Um, and and yeah, and, and then now I just check, okay, this is, well, okay, I'm going to skip up to here. Um, this is 8 in base 10. This is, uh, what is it? 14 plus 2, so 16 in base 10. This is 24 in base 10, dot, 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 right? And of course, these digits are trivially true. 8 is true, but 16 is not true, so we filter those out. And then we, you know, after you're removing them, um, you, um, you know, you'll be good. So how do you generate these, right? The first thing to notice is that you don't need to generate all the base, um, all the numbers in base 10, or sorry, all the numbers in base 7, you can actually create them in palindrome. drum. And what I mean is just generate from half of them. So for example, you generate, um, in this case, um, you know, you just generate 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, is one digit, so you don't have to generate the other half. Here, you generate the other half, so th therefore you get 11. Here, you only generate half, but but not including the middle because here it combines to 101. But if you dot, dot, dot early, uh, further enough, you get this number, which is also, uh, let's see, 749, I don't know what it is, right? In some, in base 10. Um, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say. But, uh, and then you kind of see if the base 10 number, check if base 10 number is good. Um, and in this case, of course, you just actually used the 10, right? So you don't have, so you get to skip a lot of numbers using this method. Uh, and that's basically the idea that I do here. Uh, I, do, I do a lot of math to kind of make sure that, um, I don't do a lot of math, but I do some math to make sure that it less, is less than N. Um, I, I, so basically here's my, um, hmm. wait, I think I messed up um, in this code, hang on. Uh, I think I need to show this before I quick. Oh no, I, I want to see my submission. That's why. Um, yeah, so this was my initial submission. Um, I have a function that basically given a base. I cannot edit this unfortunately. Um, and this, uh, let me just write it here. Um, so go uh, is a terrible name, but basically change from. X is in base K, change change to string form, right? So basically, we're just converting this to string. Um, well, is is a base ten change it to string form in base K? Convert just converts. Uh, what is it? Terminal? Converts a base. Uh, 
base K number to base 10 in string form. Um, so, okay. In a way, right? So basically, we just do that, right? We start by current is equal to 1. Um, so for every number, we take, you know, this is the one with the middle, like I said. So, for example, in this case, let's say we're up to 1, 2, 3 in uh, base 7. We'll just take 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Um, so we generate this into this. And then, um, yeah, we generate this into this, and then we convert this to base 10, to base 10 number, and then check with it's a palindrome. Uh, if it's a palindrome, then this is good. If we already have too many answers, we break. Um, otherwise, we, we, we append it to the answer, we saw it, we'll see later, and then we just take the first n terms. Um, in this case, the, the, so the thing here is that because we're doing it slightly out of order, I have to keep track to make sure that this is in order, right? Um, because this has more digits. So here we have 123 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Uh, this is in uh, to base 10 number, um, right? And then we check whether it's a palindrome, we put it in and we sort. The reason why we do this sorting thing, and I didn't even do it that, that nicely, is because... Um, you know, for example, let's say this is an, a real answer, so you have one, two, three, two, one, and then later, like one, three, three is a real answer, which is one, three, three, two, uh, uh, one, three, 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 one. But if this is the answer, you have to kind of, you know, we're doing them, we're basically parsing them not in increasing order strictly, um, because this one has more digits. So here we just do some things to make sure that okay, later numbers can come in of a fewer digits and come in earlier. So that's basically my logic here, but otherwise I did it this way. So I did try to submit this, and when I submit this, I get time limit exceeded. Um, so, and I actually um, knew it was gonna be fast enough because I ran it for every number. Um, so then the next thing I would do is, is this the one? Yeah. So this is what I would have done in, um, This is what I would have done off, I mean, I tried to do it on, on, on this browser so you could see it, but this is what I would have done in, um, this is what I would have done in, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. This is what I've done locally on my computer, generate all the cases. Um, basically all I do is, this is, this is the same code as we've seen before. Oops. This is the same code that we've seen before. All I do now is wrap it around this, uh, function to basically generate, okay. Generate k is equal to 2, k is equal to 3, dot, dot, dot. Generate the first dirty numbers of, um, you know, dirty possible answers, uh, and then you print it. So, um, so yeah, so then what happens after you do this, right? After you do this, I'm just going to show you this case for k is equal to 2. Um, for k equals to 2, if you run it, then you get this printout, right? Um, I mean, of course, if you had did all of them, you have gotten an array. Uh, or uh, a, a map to an array, right? Uh, kind of look like this. Um, and because this would take too long, like we said, this is time limit exceeded, so of course if we add a for loop on top of that, it's going to be too slow. But on your computer, it doesn't matter if you take two minutes to run, it's still fast enough to generate this dictionary. And after you generate this dictionary, you just copy and paste, and then that's pretty much it. And then you just, read, you know, you copy and paste this stuff in there, and then you just return the answer, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is one way to kind of speed it up because we. So the reason why we can do this is that we know, um, we know that the number of possible inputs is not huge, right? The number of possible inputs is the, is going to be nine or yeah, eight times thirty, if you will, or something like that, right? So the only uh, 240 possible answers, and that's a small enough thing for us to have a lookup table and then sum the answer. And that's basically what I would recommend doing. Um, this is kind of exponential if you if you want to be precise um, because this thing grows really fast, um, but 30 is a small enough number that, that this is okay. Um, there's probably, a, you know, you can probably generate this also live in a quick way, but that's one way that I would recommend doing. And this is a technique that um, I recommend thinking about if it comes up to you. Let's see what uh, we did. Okay, we just did the brute force. Oh, huh, I guess in Python it's fast enough to do the... Um, 
I guess, I mean, in, sorry, I say Pathfinder, but I guess in Java is good enough to do brute force, um, so they don't need to do that. But, uh, and here, this is the technique that I said as well. Um, they, but I did do it brute force and then just put it here like we did. Um, but yeah, huh. I, mm, hmm. This is actually pretty nice. But yeah, uh, but that's the idea. I mean, some people did it my way, as you can see. And some people just do it brute force, but in a language that is faster. Because I think it's fast enough in Java, but not fast enough in Python. Anyway, um, and also what I actually did was I used, I looked up OES on Google um, off generating the first few answers. So I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have to. Um, let me know what you think. This one is a little bit weird one and it requires uh, some, you know, lookup table, which is always a little bit cheating-y. But, uh, but let me know what you think about this technique uh, and I will see you later. And oh, you can watch me do it live, but of course it's way long, but that's okay. Just fast forward to whatever you need. Anyway, uh, okay. See you in a bit.